how you manage horses in the cold, snowy winter. So we got a few tips for you today. One thing we want to uh, share with you is that horses really do quite well in the cold as long as you provide them some simple things in which to make them more comfortable. One of the things is, is that horses really can withstand a lot of cold because they have the ability to stand their hair up on their body. The pylorectal muscle of their hair follicle can stand up and trap warm air next to their body and they can heat themselves that way. Now where it gets hard for them to maintain their body temperature is when there's a wind blowing or when they get wet. Uh, because the wind blows the warm air off their body and when they get wet it makes it difficult for the hair follicles to stand up and trap that warm air. So it's a good idea if you're having horses outside in the cold, particularly in the snowy weather like this, that you provide a windbreak for them and that you provide them a place to kind of get in and out of the snow or the rain if they're going to stay out all the time. But horses do really well in the cold weather provided you uh, give them the opportunity to have a windbreak or some shelter. Another thing to do with them is to make sure that they have adequate amount of hay or roughage in which to consume during that time because their heat of fermentation in their hind gut will increase their body temperature and help them maintain their body temperature during this time. And you can either use square bells to feed them that hay or you can feed them round bells out in the field. Uh, but you will, by feeding round bells, you will get a little more wastage. You can use a round bell feeder to minimize that waste, wastage. But uh, you know, any type of hay out there, increase the amount of roughage will help them out quite a bit. Uh, during this winter time. So Ashley, what about other things we might want to think about during this cold time? Well, uh, Craig, the water is a really important aspect of keeping a horse healthy uh, all year long. We mainly think about this in this hot summertime, but dehydration in the winter can actually be uh, the, the most concern as water sources freeze and are not available. So we want to be sure to check all of our water sources. If you have an automatic water, make sure that it's connected to a thermostat so that it will uh, remain um, fluid throughout the winter months. Uh, or if you have bulk tanks and other water sources, be sure to check those daily so that the horses always have available water to them. We want to thank you for joining us for this episode of The Witty Horse, uh, where we love sharing real experiences about horses. Join us at wittyhorse.com.